Oh, look, isn't that adorable? Toys, the 1992 movie starring Robin Williams, currently sits at a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes, while Popeye, another Robin Williams movie, sits at a 58%. I get the hot spits if I watch Popeye for more than five minutes, and the fact that there are people who we allow to walk free among us in society who think Popeye is twice as good of a movie as Toys offends me. What's true of you? What's to discuss? This is the program. This is what works. This is the future. And I absolutely get a movie not being successful in its initial run. There are tons of great movies that bombed at the box office. Tremors, The Thing, Galaxy Quest, hell, It's a Wonderful Life and The Wizard of Oz were failures in their initial theatrical runs, but not only has Toys not had its rightful day in the sun, even worse, it is on the edge of being lost forever. It's whimsical, Leland. Zevo Toys is a magical place to work. The kind old man who founded the company treats his employees like family. But when he dies, his brother, a military general, takes over. General Zevo hates whimsy and innocence. You're as big a fool as your father ever was. You really think so? Thank you. It doesn't take long for the employees to be treated like soldiers or even prisoners. And while Leslie and Alsatia Zevo, the founder's children, struggle to save the soul of the company, General Zevo has big plans. To corrupt the toy factory and turn it into a high-tech weapons manufacturer, and train children to fly drone missions with real-life casualties, all while they think they're playing video games. Little children can fly remote-controlled planes. It's only the weaponry that's missing. <laughs> Toys are the future weapons of war. When Les and Al find this out, they decide to nut up or shut up and confront General Zevo. In an epic battle between antique wind-up toys and military toys equipped with actual missiles and machine guns. I'll put this place on red alert. They're as good as dead. That's your son, sir. War has no relatives. The cast of toys is fantastic. Michael Gambon as General Zevo is amazing. I think this is baby shit. Joan Cusack plays Alsatia, and it's probably my second favorite comedic performance from her, right behind Debbie from Adam's Family Values, and she's great in In and Out. That's like the top three Joan Cusack performances for me. And I gotta say, LL Cool J is acting the hell out of this role. He plays a very serious military character, and he does it perfectly. I want my string beans to be quarantined. I like a little fortress around my mashed potatoes so the meatloaf doesn't invade my mashed potatoes. And Robin Williams is doing his Robin Williams thing in this movie. I assume, since he and the director worked together on Good Morning Vietnam, I assume that this role was custom built for Robin Williams, and I think it shows it's lots of silly Robin Williams improv. Look at that face. Come on, is that a great face or what? That's Michael Jackson before and after. I've never had surgery. Never, ever. But I gotta say, when the chips are down, he has to transform from a, an innocent character into a protector of the innocent. He handles the weight of that really well. Give up? I mean, we've seen Robin Williams handle drama and comedy before. This is, I think, a, a kind of a perfect distilled example of how well he can do both and switch back and forth between the two. On the production side, Toys is a visual feast. From the incredible set design, to the costuming, to the cinematography, to some pretty wild CGI for 1992, it's so clear that every shot of this movie is made with ambition, with intention, and with incredible talent both in front of and behind the camera. You know, I feel like when I watch movies from the 80s and 90s, I often find myself saying, man, they don't make movies like this anymore. But when I was watching Toys, I was thinking, they didn't even make movies like this then. I do gotta say I have a couple criticisms. One, the movie is too long by quite a bit. It's two hours long, it does not need to be. And part of my complaint about it being too long is the romantic subplot with Robin Williams and Robin Wright does not need to be there. You could have cut that all out. We won't even get into the age gap between the actors, which is like not huge, but enough. And Robin Wright is so young and youthful and beautiful and next to 
Robin Williams, who's a little hairy guy, uh, the age gap feels even bigger than it, than it was in reality. I said we weren't even gonna get into it, and now I'm getting into it. My point is, is the romantic subplot does not need to be there. I feel like it's there just to give Leslie Zevo's character the more motivation to be a man, to grow up, um, and it doesn't need to be there. The, the story of this brother and sister whose evil uncle took over the company, that is motivation enough for him to grow up. You didn't need all this other stuff. So I assume at this point you are sufficiently hyped on toys and you're thinking to yourself, I'm gonna gather the family up tonight. We're gonna sit down in front of the old boob tube. I'm gonna pop some popcorn and we're gonna watch toys. This sounds like a great movie. I wonder, I wonder where I can get access to toys. I mean, it's gotta be on one of the big streaming services, right? Right? Wrong. It is not on any streaming service as far as I could find. Maybe you can change your VPN. I don't know about any of that stuff, but without jumping through a bunch of hoops, it is not available on streaming. There has never been a Blu-ray release. There's never been a 4K release. The last time Toys was released in any form was its DVD release in 2003. It is out of print by 20 years. Unless you go on Amazon right now and snatch up one of the VHS tapes, one of the laser discs, one of the DVDs that are still floating around, you can't get this movie in any way. And I didn't know this when I sat down to do this review. I just wanted to talk about toys because it's a movie from my childhood. I have good memories of it. I didn't know that it was an impossible movie to get. So this is kind of a call to action. I want to make noise about toys, especially after the death of Robin Williams. It's shocking to me that no, nobody, I don't know who owns the rights to this movie, but nobody said, God, we should pull this movie out. We should do something with it. Let them know that there is interest in this movie. In any case, thank you all for watching Fuck Popeye, and I will see you next time. Take him down!